So the bad press tour for The Little Mermaid continues. You have IMDb changing the way they review movies because of this film, similar to what happened with Captain Marvel. It seems to always be a Disney movie that causes the entire way movies are reviewed to change so that they can get a little bit more of a leg up. It's kind of funny, huh? Disney, the biggest media company in the world has rating sites willing to change the way they do business for them. And they say, these reviewers aren't in the company's pockets. So anyway, IMDb is changing everything. So if you go into their website and you check it out, it's up there, pretty high, high rating, high rating, high popularity. It's really, really moving, moving the posts. It's really making that money. Now, what's funny about this is every site does this except one. If you go to Rotten Tomatoes, all critics, it's 68%. Top critics, 48%. So they literally are hiding a critic score. Now, it should go with all critics, to be fair. I think it also should go with all audience, but I'm just showing you some of the shenanigans going on at Rotten Tomatoes. So top critics is a 48% rotten, and then verified audience, 95%. All audience is 57%. Now, when you go to Metacritic, you get a little more of an accurate assessment, 59% based on 52 critic reviews. User score based on 735 ratings, by the way. Unlike this one, 25,000 plus over on Rotten Tomatoes, uh, this is only based on 735. So I wouldn't run in and say this has been review bombed on Metacritic 2.0. A lot of shenanigans going on. Metacritic seems to be the only one that's just kind of letting things play out here properly. But I, I think it's interesting how quick everyone is to, ch to change the way they do things to give this movie protection. Remember, I talked about this before. Critics will play ball. They've admitted to it before. They're playing ball with The Little Mermaid. If you want to hear that clip, here, listen to this. This is a critic flat out admitting it. Everybody in our industry occasionally has to play softball, occasionally has to, you know, look the other way a little bit. Everybody has to do it. Wait, wait, we're turning what? Like a movie in, 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 bad, in the sense or? that, you know, I hated a movie, but I won't say that I hated the movie. Or a, an actor behaved a sort of way and you don't want to, you know, get it, put right. it out there that that happened. Right, because you might not get the next review. Right. Next so gig. to some okay. degree, everybody in our industry that is a part of this quote unquote access media has to sort of decide which battles they want to pick. So when I see stuff like this, I'm not shocked because... Well, they have no integrity, and they will totally change a system to give Disney a little bit of a boost. And Disney needs a boost because they've taken a lot of L's over the past two years. The only good thing that they've had so far this year is Guardians of the Galaxy 3. That's been a win. A Little Mermaid, not going to be a win. And they kind of need this more than Guardians of the Galaxy because Little Mermaid carries the Disney brand on its shoulders. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy doesn't exactly do that. It carries the Marvel brand. And I know Marvel is owned by Disney. This is true. So that's why I'm saying it is a Disney win. However, Little Mermaid carries the logo front and center. This is a Disney-branded property. It represents the company. They need this to be a win. And it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And it's not going to happen because of the fact that the overseas numbers are shit. Disney needs this movie to make money globally, and that's not going to happen. Uh, global audiences are more interested in fast cars. That's why <laughs> Vin Diesel's movie has flattened this fish. And I just don't see her coming back because now you've got that Spider-Verse movie coming out, and that thing's probably going to make 100 something million first weekend domestically. I don't even know what it'll make worldwide, but at least domestically, it's going to do pretty good. And that's where this film needs to make all of its money. It needs to be 
it needs to make its money domestically now. And I just don't think that's going to happen when you consider the fact that you have a bunch of movies coming out over the next couple of weeks. Also, this movie isn't really capturing the the male audience. This movie is geared primarily towards women. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that to say, and there's going to be, I'm a guy and I enjoy this movie. That's fine. But there are certain types of movies that women enjoy, and there are certain types of movies that men enjoy. And the people that, go, <laughs> most of the time, it's, it's dudes that are going back repeat times. This movie needs repeat views. And you know what they're going to see? They're going to see the little boys. That they want to go see the Spider-Verse movie. And then you know what they want to see next weekend? Transformers. I just don't see a lot of repeat views for this movie. And the prediction is a 67% drop for this movie. A lot of people are kicking around, and uh, I could see I could see it hitting 70. But I, I don't know. We're going to find out in about two days because today is Thursday, and it's preview day for Miles Morales' movie, and... I'm really curious to see what that movie pulls in as well. They've dude, they've done some stupid shit with that movie, particularly the five month pregnant Spider Woman. I'm, I'm this is, I, just, I think that's stupid. You, know, you could have had her in the movie not pregnant. That would have been just fine, and I don't think people would have cared as much. Namely, and I know some people out there saying, "Well, that's not Jessica Drew," and I 100 percent agree with you. It's not, but most people have no idea who the hell Jessica Drew is. She's not, she, she had a show, I think in the seventies, there was a spider woman show. I don't even think it lasted that long. She's, she's like a, a C level character. And I don't like what they're doing with her at all in the movie. I think they should have just had her look like she looks like in the comics, which is this look right here. This is Jessica Drew, but instead we're getting this, look at this action figure. <laughs> She's pregnant. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I hate that she's pregnant because I, I just I hate this trend. Oh, being pregnant, you can still kick ass. This is how you know these people have never like spent time with a pregnant woman <laughs> because they don't, they're not, the last thing they want to be out doing is riding motorcycles and and doing flips and wheelies on them. That's not what a five-month pregnant woman wants to do. Okay. Uh, so, kind of stupid. But I'm really curious to see how this movie performs. I am I am uh, wondering what the final take on that movie is going to be because of some of the dumb shit in it. By the way, there's spoilers that came out for that movie that I guess it got leaked. So, uh, I was reading a thread from Mr. Bug on Twitter. And, yeah, so it doesn't look like a good movie. It doesn't sound like a good movie anyway. Uh, by the way, so uh, this movie, probably not going to break even. Now, what's funny about this is they've already started doing the damage control. This is some of it. Like, so the Little Mermaid subjected to review bombing with mass negative reactions posted by bots. So they're blaming the reviews from users on this now, trying to weaponize that, saying that that's the reason it failed. I think it failed because nobody gave a shit about this movie. It looks bad. It looks awful. It looks like cringe. The weird flounder right there doesn't help it. Sebastian looks strange. He's like a semi-realistic but cartoony crab. Like, it's just so many dumb decisions in this movie. I think people are tired of this shit. They don't want to see this. So I, I, I think that's your main problem there. It looks like shit. Looks cheap. Looks awful. That's why it's failing, not because of terroristic reviews like that one article I went over in a video yesterday where they were calling this terrorism. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Comment below, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. 
Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.